so this email list as i explained yesterday that email list means getting of email address of people so the first thing is we are going to install our browser what do i mean it means you that you want to generate email list of people you must have email you must have gmail either in email we have diff we have a lot of email service provider we have email we have gmail we have hotmail we have Zoom mail we have yahoo mail we have temp mail we have a lot of them so we make use of gmail mostly here yeah. so the first thing is you are going to install your browser just watch as i'm doing it so this is it it's because i have i have added my own chrome here before if not we are going to add if you can see here this add do you see add so that's add if we press add then we are going to sign in so we can sign in our gmail the password and email but since i have added it already there is no need for me to sign in again so the next thing is we are going to the chrome menu we have two options either we come to this place and we press more tools from more tools to extension so it's going to bring us to somewhere then we press extension menu this is the extension menu so from there come down this open chrome web store then from that place you can search for extension so what extension do we use to generate email list it is called email extractor so this is email extractor then we are going to add it i pressed it please if i'm rushing then we are going to add it to chrome do you see how to chrome then we are going to add extension from there be watching this thing see the changes that will come here have you seen the changes so we are going to pin it this is it we are going to pin it and from there we can remove it so this pin it is the one that we are going to press so you see it says non found so the second option i said is without going to browser this extension directly it's always on anybody's laptop extension directly so once you press extension directly it's going to bring us to where we search for email extractor so we can simply search for email extractor here but since i've added it already there's no need for us to install it again the reason why i'm slow at typing is because i'm using one hand to record and one hand to to type so that's it and there is no light here so that is the remaining light here on my phone and on my laptop so we can search for email extractor the next thing is we are going to pick our niche our targeted niche what is our targeted niche it means where we want to get email of people from maybe you want to get emails i just want to give an insight let's say for example emails of people in your balland you can get emails of people in nigeria so the first thing is we are going to search for just watch as i'm doing it the first thing is we are going to press enter see this sorry this is it so everything must be in block i mean in capital letter we are going to search for gmail then we press it back we give it the space we press this thing again then we search for usa it depends on the location nigeria canada any place but i think guessing of nigeria email is something that is not that we shouldn't go for because there is no way you can work with people that to say they need nigerian email it is the the best and the most the come the one that we can get is usa especially when it comes to real estate 
like real estate something like that but even if we are doing practical it is not advisable to use nigeria so we can search for usa so this is it the next thing is we are going to give it a space again we are going to press it and we are going to press what is our niche what niche do we targeted so either you want to get email of farmer of teacher of doctors so of lawyers we can just search for teachers so you close it back sorry so this is it this is it then you can just search it so have you seen it so you can see what i searched now then from there you can see this thing that we added before it is zero before if you are following me you will see that this thing is zero before but now it has between 11 so if you press this thing now you, you are going to see have you seen different emails so we are going to copy all you see copied that is 11 emails so we are going to come to our notepad do you understand so what are we going to do the next thing is to paste sorry Control V is paste in case you don't know it. Control C is copy. Control A is highlight. So you see, upload the extension to auto save and automate your email ID. We are going to delete that. Also, you see this Jack uh, Jasco9. That is my own personal email. There is no way we can generate email list without your own personal email. That shows that the mails are original because you also you are searching in your mail definitely your mail should be among it so that is email of teachers in usa then we can come to the second line if you are still in need of usa teachers so you can come to second page can you see the second so this is the second so you can see this thing it is no more 11 it has reached 7 back so we are going to click the 7 we copied all we come back to our notes part so we paste it again so we paste it again so we are going to delete it again so let's just delete some things there so if you want to make more practical you can go and do it you know this is just a practical i mean just a basic knowledge through this process you see we have generated maybe 18 emails or 15 emails with this 15 it is possible you can collect this 15 for example if someone told you that you need 15 email for five dollar won't you be happy you haven't spent up to 10 minutes you got five dollars so let's let's think of it that's two five two thousand five hundred naira it is people uh, some people's earning for two days some people's earning for a day then you get it for 10 minutes within 10 minutes so that's it freelancer we don't use power we use brain so that's it from this thing we can come to our excel so this is our excel then this is blank we are going to come to blank can you see excel so from this place what is the benefit of excel although we can we can deliver a project using notepad but the benefit is it makes our work very professional if we use excel see the difference you see this you see all this thing there so if you copy it control a i said it's i like so we can copy it if you come to our excel it depends on what we want to do so we can just say maybe this is it we can elongate it 
do you get me but before you can say that you want to increase the size make sure that this arrow can you see the arrow it is plus now so make sure that it is very deep deep black can you see now then you can increase it do you understand so that's it the next thing is we are going to paste what we copy it Control V is paste. Can you see it now? So that's paste. So it is not a problem if you are doing this. So excuse me. So, excuse me. There is something I want to derive. What I'm trying to do is the benefit of campaign of doing of using um, this email, this Excel is that there is no need for you to number it again. It will number itself automatically. So, so, so you can just delete everything. Since this thing is long, it is possible. We can deliver using a uh, notepad also, it is not a problem, but the thing is, there's, you need to make everything to be professional, so that's, that's why. Even like this, you can be copying it, if you get time or if it is, maybe it is doing some errors, you can be copying it, paste it, you come to the another, you come to another one, copy. paste are you seeing it so you can do so until it reach the number you want it to be so I don't know why it is doing like this before you can just if you copy everything if you paste it it will number itself automatically So, this is the one that we did before. So, you need to delete this one. So, that's it. The only thing we need is we do use our brain. After that, there is nothing else. That's what also called freelancing. A freelancer is someone who is self-employed, is not necessarily dedicated to any company. Hope you understand what I'm doing, please. If you don't understand, you know I can't, I can't do the practical again. So the first thing, you see the number one. You can't type email there. You are going to type Gmail. The reason why we type Gmail there, you are going to understand it when we reach email lead that will be tomorrow so do you understand now so i think this is the best place to stop for today you can continue tomorrow just try to ask question in case you don't understand one part or the other so that's it there is nothing special in email campaign email there is nothing special in it. So, thank you. The next thing, sorry. So, if you are numbering it, you can number it up to unlimited thing. So, the next thing is, check this. You see this file. You are going to save as. If you save, it won't be based on the name you want it to be. But if you save as, it will be very easy. So, 
where do you want to save it? Do you want to save as computer? Do you want to save as one drive? Do you want to save anywhere and you can save? So that's it. It depends on the um how do I call it? It depends on what we are using. If you are using online Excel, there is no way you can save directly. But if it is not an online Excel, then you can save directly. So if you save as, I think we can save as document, right? So what is the name? The name is, what can we call it? Freelancing training. Freelancing list generation. Train. Do you understand? Freelancing list generation train. Mm -hmm. So, someone is calling me. Sorry. So, this is the best place to stop for today. So, we have saved it now. So, if you want to check it anytime, any day, you can don't save this place. So, you can just come to your file, search for documents. And what is the name? Freelancing list generation training. Then we are going to. So, that's it. Have you seen it? So, it's not a problem. This is the best, the best place to store for today. Thank you.